Japanese curry that I just made. But not just Japanese curry. Japanese curry on top of rice. But wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not just rice. This rice was harvested by my special friends. Yes. They actually have, um, their own rice. How cool is that? And I just cooked it for the first time in a rice cooker that they lent me and I was so stoked to try it. I tasted it and it's like I can't explain it. It's totally different than than like rice you just buy in the store. It's it's definitely more flavorful. You could eat a whole bowl of just the rice. Like put some salt on it or whatever whatever just eat it but it's the texture that I like it's so individual and it's, it's oh I don't know how to explain it it's like nutty and mm, it's so good and I got so much of it anyways yes I've got chicken in here look at the chicken I've got carrots I've got potatoes and I've got uh, Japanese cabbage and sprouts. So good. Can you see the steam? Oh, you can't see the steam. I can see the steam. You can see the steam. Can you see it? Nope. Maybe? Nope. <laughs> Anyways, it's got to cool down a little bit. So, I can cook a Japanese meal. I cook Japanese food like udon or whatever. In Canada but I am in Japan in Osaka Japan and I have the ability and the honor to be able to make their food like I was thinking about that earlier and I'm thinking wow how cool is that I have not had American food or Canadian food Western food since I've been here I had a hot dog the other day yeah no it, it's not a Western hot dog no, not at all. <laughs> um, oh, I had craft dinner the other day. That's a lie. I had craft dinner because I brought craft dinner with me. But it is. It's like an honor to be able to make their food here. Like, I can make Japanese food. I'm in Japan and I'm making Japanese food. How cool is that? With rice that my friends harvested. Yes. Bet you wish you were here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I ex I'm excited to get home and uh, make my dinner because, like yesterday, I made um, chicken udon noodle soup uh, for myself. Tonight, I made this curry. I made okiyaminashi. I can't remember what it's called the other day, but I mean, because I'm not cooking as a job right now. The excitement is back, so it's like, yes, I get to go. Anyways, enough about that. Just thought I would tell you a little bit. Um, today, I went and did some training at uh, Go to English. And it was with little kids. And oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. We did two classes. One was with five kids and one was with four. The first class was amazing. They were so cute, so like well behaved. The second group, yeah, total opposite. <laughs> they were all boys too, and they were a little bit older. They were totally opposite. Um, I just kind of covered my eyes most of the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so for now, I will have only two, like, okay, yeah, I only have like two classes there a week. So it puts me in there, you know, puts my foot in the, in there and all that. So for me, because I'm, f 
far away from the cities. I'm more like less in a town now. Um, I think I'm going to be having to have like three or four part-time jobs instead of having like one full-time or two part-time jobs because I think I just got another job, another, got another English, um, little English school down the street from me where I can walk because I was on the bus. I'm like, damn, they were closed yesterday. I couldn't go. So I was on the bus on the way home, um, from work and I saw that it's open. So I pushed bing bing and I get off the bus and I'm like, hello, which you don't usually do. You don't usually go around to stores or anything and try to get a job here. That's just not how it works. You don't go door to door and handle your resumes kind of thing. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm going to. And I got some balls right now. <laughs> I'm going to do it. And they were so stoked. Like, they're like, yes, we have so many people that come in and want, like, mothers that want um, a foreign um, English teacher. But, uh... The weird thing is, like, they have foreign teachers there, but, um, they're not, uh, wow, what's it called? It's not their first language, you know what I mean? Um, wow, what's the word? I'm trying to figure out the word. They are not. Now I'm looking in the newspaper to find out the word. Native English people. Native English speakers. I'm a native English speaker, obviously. But this place, they have foreign um, teachers that do speak English. But I guess lots of people want a... Um, I forgot the word again. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, but again, because they don't have one, they don't have a teacher like me, um, they haven't been advertising. So I would only be able to get like two classes a week again which is an hour, two hours, or an hour each, right? Um, but then they would advertise, and then hopefully more people would come in, and she said that it would be um, a good thing for me. So, still not enough to pay the bills. So, I'm still looking for some other work, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm hoping, yeah, anyways. So, enough blabbing. I love this place. The only thing that, like, makes me want to cry is the transit and trying to find places, like, oh, I'll learn it. I need a bike. That's what I need. Um, oh, this car looks so good and it's cooling off now. <laughs> My teeth look really white. Maybe not. Maybe they're white. <laughs> I know, I'm a dork. Um, wow, this is a long video. Anyways, after this video will be um, another little video from a couple weeks back when I was in the other area living and every day I would walk and um, because I was like right in the city, there was so much to look at and I found this like market street. It's like an old market street and it was like kilometers long. Like I mean it was probably like two miles long. And I'd walk it and I'd look at all the shops and most of it was food. And anyways, um, after this, I have a little clip of that. And uh, go ahead and watch that right now if you like. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, as I am leaving this area of Osaka and moving tomorrow, I thought I'd show you the place I go walking every day. So this is like a market street. Many places are closed today for some reason. It's very different than uh, Canada and the U.S., like the days that they decide to be open. But uh, lots and lots of food down here. Um, most uh, vendors are actually older. And I think I'd walk this for, um, I'd say, uh, three miles about. Yeah, three miles. Three miles? No, maybe two miles. It's very, very long. And uh, I'm just down here for the last time. Going for my walk.
I got some kimchi there the other day. Konnichiwa. So lots of places are closed. There's a pillow and blanket place. Finally got a pillow yesterday. I have been sleeping on my stuffed cow. Yes, a pink stuffed cow. That has been my pillow. Fresh veggies. Who does not want fresh veggies? And I mean like, they're so clean. And they're in like, nice packaging. It's just, I don't know, so different. And then the bakery. Just gonna go a little farther and show you a little more. Oh, it smells good at that bakery. <laughs> so, see, it just goes forever. It takes me a long while to walk this. Yeah, many shops are closed today. But you still see all the bikes. That means the people are still around here. She. Some places look delicious. So this area, I've only seen. Well, you probably seen the foreigner that just passed me a little bit ago. Um, that's the second foreigner I've seen in this area where I live. Actually, um, when I go on the subway and go elsewhere, I have seen a few, but maybe eight tops. So kind of interesting. I thought I'd see way more foreigners. I think maybe in Sinshibashi um, I will see more or in right down the city of Osaka but uh, I'm not sure. Let's see any food. Try not to get run over for a buy a bike. <laughs> So this has been my destination room pretty much every day. I love walking down here because the stores sometimes change too. It's interesting. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.